I finally got to try my chocolate. I cleaned up. I think I had chocolate all over my face. It is not just the chocolate, though, that brings you out to Long Grove. It is this darling village. It is meant, it is about 40 miles north of Chicago, northwest, and it is a destination that will take you back in time. When you enter town, especially if you come over our covered bridge, it's like you're leaving one place and you're, you're entering another place that's from a different time. While it may look like 1890, this is present day Long Grove, Illinois. The town has zoning and historical ordinances to keep it looking the way it did more than 100 years ago. There's just something that's kind of magical about being in a place that you can imagine looked like this years ago. This charming and picturesque town is also known for its festivals and confectionery. Ma and Pa's Candy is the oldest retail shop in town. When you shop here, you're really, it's an experience because you're kind of taken back in time um, because of all the types of nostalgic candy. In recent history, Long Grove has gained a more dubious distinction. The last couple years, if you say it, they wanted to talk about the bridge. Oh, that you've got that bridge. It's called the Robert Parker Coffin Bridge. And if you haven't heard, it's been hit at least 45 times since reopening in 2020. People run into the bridge ever since I can remember, but suddenly it's a, it's, it's a news item and it didn't used to be. Although it gets a lot of publicity, the bottom line is it's keeping the trucks off the bridge and preserving it, and it's working as designed. Village President Bill Jacobs says Long Grove is often recognized as one of the best places in Illinois to live and raise a family. It's like an oasis. Uh, in, the, in the middle of the urban sprawl, we've become a place where residents and non-residents can come to relax and en enjoy life and enjoy it maybe in a little slower pace. Am I the only one who gets a little nervous when we see trucks drive underneath the bridge? I mean, it's been hit so many times since it was reconstructed. Closed for the weekend in order to kind of cordon off this beautiful little village for Chocolate Fest. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.